Welcome everyone. Welcome to this part number five of this Instagram tutorial. So here in the right, this is uh, where we are right now. So the iOS user have a bit more than the Android user. And uh, why? It's because we need to have kind of icon to make the tab working with the uh, React Native navigation. And in same time, the iOS don't have it. So this is what we're gonna do today. First thing, <laughs> it's really, <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard, but we have uh, some code to build to make uh, it work with React Native Navigation uh, with the um, vector icon. So I'm gonna make use of the React Native vector icon right there. This library, which is pretty awesome. They have a lot of stuff uh, for us. Uh, I mean, they have, uh, if you, here it's their uh, doc, so you can find the doc just by clicking here. And uh, not the doc, but this is every, uh, <laughs> finally, every uh, icon they have. So, example, we're gonna need the home, and uh, if I search for home, I'm gonna get the, the home we're gonna make use, this one right there. So, um, yeah, pretty awesome. And this is what we're gonna do. So first thing we need to do is we need to install in this library. So I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to go to my uh, uh, project. Make sure you have also the project start and run yarn add and react native vector icon. It's going to take not that long. Perfect. And after that, we're going to run the command react native link so the link gonna do for us the link the linking between uh, the native code so uh, now in xcode we're gonna have a new folder called uh, resource where inside this one we're gonna have all the ttf of the icon so the ntpo eval icon and everything so we are good here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just restart the project for the ios because every time you add a native library you need to restart the native editor or the native build so finally uh, I'm just rerun Xcode so don't worry Android we're gonna go it's we don't need to do that much to in Android and you're gonna see it's pretty simple too we're gonna have it we're gonna have it sorry about the time I cannot uh, Surely be good. So now you say yes, you say that's gonna take uh, uh, some work to make it work. Uh, this is not what I mean by that. Here is the easy part. The other part is about React Native Navigation. It's built before the app came to you like your screen uh, ish. So what happened is you need to have the icon running first. To be there so now we have the project perfect any run so uh, ios we are good in android studio yeah android studio they have created an asset folder here with the font and now what we need to do also it's going to my uh, build gradle project here and now here now what we're gonna do is we need to uh, paste from the end real, we need to paste uh, this thing here. Compile project React Native Vector Icon. Right there below. Like this. And, and they have it in the setting, they have add the React Native Vector Icon. So this part we don't really need. But, no, are you gonna work? And now here, what we need to also do, it's uh, inside this uh, inside this one, we have add this thing, perfect. And in the uh, main application, right there, we're gonna need to add this import here. So we're gonna add this import right there. And now finally, you just uncomment. They have done this for us in, uh, in, uh, React Native Navigation. So just like that, so I'm gonna save. And now I'm gonna rerun from here. You can run from whatever you want, but. And I'm gonna just make sure Android work too. 
So you see, you just finally follow this part. You don't need to uh, do this two here and this one. It's just about uh, the build gradle and the main application. <coughs> Sorry. And we should be good after that. I've done like a uh, five tests before, so. And that's why I say click uh, try again. It just, uh, I get this working too. And, and we're gonna still have this blank page. Don't worry about that. But we're gonna remove this. So we're gonna go in Visual Studio Code and now it's time to write some code to make it work. So we have the nav here. And the nav is where everything starts. And that's gonna be the good place here to uh, get the icon for the project because first thing we need to add the icon here. And if I add the icon here from React Native uh, Vector Icon, it's not gonna work. I need to uh, put some code to make it run first. So what I'm gonna do it's I'm gonna create inside the SRC folder a folder called util. So we're gonna put all the util uh, thing we need in that. But also we're gonna put theme. And I think icon can be kind of a theme. So I'm gonna create an icon.js inside the theme. I uh, don't know what this ESLIN after today, but you know what? I think that my best bet should be to just reopen it. Sorry about this, it just see it get crazy. Okay. So now inside here, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna first thing, uh, we're gonna import React from React. And we're gonna also import some of the icon we're gonna need. And for now, just for the two screen, we need the home with the entipo here, and we need the search. And that's gonna be uh, the search. Is gonna, we're gonna make use of the ion icon. So uh, what we need to do here, it's saying uh, import entipo from vector entipo, and we're gonna say import ion. My icon from vector icon ion icon. I think this is the name ion icon. And yes, okay. Here, uh, what we're gonna after that need to do is we're gonna create uh, a variable. We're gonna be the size of um, of whatever we want, uh, like the icon we want for the the the. <laughs> the project, so the size of the icon in the tab bar. So now here, what are we gonna say? It's I'm gonna just um, saying I'm gonna need another thing too. I need also from React Native. I'm gonna need the platform and also the pixel ratio. And now here, I'm gonna do some uh, code, but I'm gonna we we'll just say finally if it's the de uh, dev files and the platform that OS is equal to Android, we're gonna make use of the pixel ratio that get pixel for layout size, and I'm gonna put 25. Else, I'm gonna say 25 also. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't really need to understand what happened in this line of code. It's just like, it's just saying, finally, uh, if the plat, like, we need to have the icon at uh, 25 and, uh, with the dev, uh, like uh, the, the, the platform and the etc., we're gonna need to get in from the pixel ratio because it don't get uh, pretty well. So after that, here, uh, what I'm gonna do, and all this code, I'm gonna pla uh, paste that in a gist, and I'm gonna just copy paste this uh, line here, and this gist here just say finally uh, replace like uh, if we on like active, big, small, and very big, like. Uh, React Native Vector uh, React Native Navigation. When you're gonna click on item, you're gonna see, uh, click on Active and stuff like this. And this is the thing we're gonna need to replace. And after that, here we're gonna create an object icon where I'm gonna say Home. Home for what? Home because my first one it's called Home. This one here. And here, what we need to do is putting uh, an array, and we're gonna say Nav Icon Size. So the uh, variable we just put here, and we're gonna say after that from where in typo. And here I'm gonna say iOS search and why? It's because the search, I get that from here, this one right there, iOS search, and this is from Ion Icon. So we need to do the same thing. Oops. And like that. And now 
yeah, no, it's gonna be pretty weird, but it's gonna make sense after that. Yeah, after that, we're gonna create like an icon map, who's gonna be an empty object, and after that, I'm gonna say I'm gonna create a premises called icons uh, load, who's gonna be a new premises, who this one's gonna take result and reject. And this one, we're gonna run a premises that all we're gonna take an array. But the array, we're gonna get that from the object that keys. So we're gonna create an array from the object that keys from icon. So you're gonna take home and IO, iOS search, and you're gonna create an array. So if you don't know what uh, object keys gonna look like, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna make an array with the keys. And with this stuff here, what we're gonna need to do is after that, we're gonna do map. Here we have icon name. And now here, we're gonna just say const provider equal icons. And now here I'm gonna say icon name. And I'm gonna say one. So you're gonna take this one, zero and one. So you take the index uh, number one. After that here, I'm gonna say R, uh, well, no, we don't need, just like that stuff. And after that here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say return provider that get image source icon name that replace and now I'm gonna pa uh, place my replace suffix pattern with an, an empty um, uh, an empty string and after that I'm gonna say take that from the name icon name icon name and I'm gonna say zero for getting uh, this nav uh, icon size right there yeah it's pretty strange but and I don't think the I didn't create really this code I just changed some stuff but I got this uh, this code just by going inside the issues of a lot of things so uh, uh, I'm not that smart to build this kind of pro uh, this kind of code here but uh, so here we have that and now after that here inside the premises that we're gonna have the den this is the premises yeah then and now here what I'm gonna do is here we're gonna add all the code we just did all the icons and now we say object that key we pass back this icon and we do a for each or finally we say icon name and the index and we say uh, icons map and we put the icon name equal to the src, the source, slash i for the index. And finally, inside this, we can say resolve true to say this is done. And we're gonna finally export cons, uh, export icons map and icons load. Whew. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, you don't need to write all this code, it's gonna be inside uh, a gist. Just copy and paste, or just follow me if you want. But this code is not supposed to make a lot of sense, this is not what's gonna make you uh, the best uh, React Native developer here. After that here, I'm gonna create inside my team an index.js, and I'm gonna export everything from uh, the file uh, icon. If I can type. Perfect. Now, what we need to do, it's we're gonna go inside the nav where everything gonna start and now right there below that I'm gonna import from util team now I'm gonna import my icons load map load and my icons map now icons load it's a premises so what we're gonna do it's we're gonna load every icon with a premises and we're gonna say when it's resolved, now init my app. And what we need to do now, it's here, I'm gonna say icon is gonna be equal to my icons map. And now remember icons map, it's now an object with the key. So icons own. And I'm gonna do the same with the explorer, and I'm gonna say icons map, and I'm gonna say here iOS search like that and now if everything is working I'm gonna crash I'm gonna run 
I'm gonna run again because he have crashed before. I'm gonna succeed. I'm gonna rerun. So don't worry, I'm gonna do the same with Andrea. And now I'm get a problem, and I know what. And this problem we got it's why resolving module blah 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 the ace package blah 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 we get a problem, and I know that's why I keep this here open. Same problem. Scroll down, we see this error from this guy, say finally, just to remove this package fixture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste this thing right inside my mobile. And I'm gonna paste this line of code also in the description. And now if we refresh, now we have it, you see right there, we have the two icon. Lot of job for almost nothing, but we need to do this. Now for the Android, we're gonna rerun the Android. Because the Android right now, he almost like crash, or he's not even in React Native, so I cannot do the command M or the RR for refreshing. So I need to wait. And now it's gonna work. And boom. Now you see, it worked right there. And I kind of really like all the Android work, like you don't have, like, because we have the label, so we put the label uh, right there. That's why the Android show the label also. So we have feed and explore, blah, 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 in here the same. So you see, pretty nice. We have done quite a lot. Like, I mean, this code here, like, like what happened now, it's with this code we just done here. The only time we're gonna make use of this code here is when we need to have that like here in the tab bar. For all the uh, vector icon, we can use it like normally. But here, uh, you know what? What I will do in your place is I will just paste that in a guess or keep track of my guess and copy and paste that on the project. You see, it's yes, it's a bit strange, but after it's done, we got pretty nice. Uh, like you're gonna like a React Native Wix from Wix and the navigation. So I hope you enjoy and we're gonna talk in the next video where it's time to design the first Instagram <laughs> component which is gonna be the photo car and because we want to uh, fetch whatever we have done in the, in the first uh, three episodes. So I hope you like uh, the video right now and we're gonna talk later. Bye.